Hey guys, it's Alice again and I've changed up my background once again. I'm still working this out, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Compare this background to the last one. I feel like the last one was a little bit too flat and I'm kind of liking having things going on, you know. Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear what you think. So for today's video, it's actually a pretty requested one. I vaguely mentioned in my last little story time video that I was thinking about doing a video talking about my whole first year of uni. So. I decided to do that now before everyone gets too far into their university years. Maybe some of the things I'm going to say are helping you or encouraging you for first year. Um, I will warn you, not everything is good about first year, but I feel like that applies to everything in life. So take this all with a pinch of salt and just know that even though some of my experiences in first year were pretty darn bad, I've come out the other side a much stronger person and you guys can see how happy I am and how much better I am and what a better place I'm in and everything happens for a reason so yeah please don't take this as a negative video it might start off a little bit like that but we'll get past that. Before I get started if you aren't already subscribed to my channel please do click the big red subscribe button and join my little family. I upload videos twice a week on this channel. I also have a vlogging channel where I am currently daily vlogging so if you're interested in the university life and want to follow mine a little bit you can go over subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my vlogging channel also this is totally unrelated but i want you to comment down below your current favorite song i'm looking for a spotify playlist that i can make and i'd love to hear you guys' songs so my first year of university was very very unplanned if you haven't already watched my previous video that was where i explained my university story and how i applied and what happened with all that so i'm just going to skip ahead and start from first year so from the day i moved in basically which was basically a year ago to this day. So I moved in on the 11th of September I think and I moved into Pavilion House in Lincoln. I go to Lincoln University for those of you who don't already know that and moving in day was super duper scary. I I feel like it's a bit of a blur. I can't really pinpoint how I was feeling at that point because it was just all a bit crazy and a bit of a blur but I remember going up to reception and getting my keys and then walking down with my family and it was a bit stressful there was a lot of cars around a lot of people around everyone looked terrified and it was very very scary when I arrived one of my flatmates were already there so that was nice to not walk into an empty flat but it was just me and him there was just two of us in there at first so that was kind of nice not to be like overwhelmed with too many people we all got in there I think it was there was four of us on the first night and the two other girls joined us the day after the first night was so fun we were sat playing drinking games, getting to know each other a little bit. I think we were up till like 3 a.m. and we all had to be awake at like 9 a.m. the next day. So we regretted that in the morning, but honestly, it was really, really nice. And I made sure to get my room as homely as possible, as soon as possible. Like I was not letting my mum leave until it looked cute. I already had like my fairy light wall up and I had everything how I wanted it. Um, and we just left a few bits and bobs for me to do over the next few weeks so I could kind of make it my own, you know. We went out for a little meal as a family, like the farewell meal, and then we said goodbye. The goodbye was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to cry. For some reason I didn't. It was more of like, oh, I'll see you soon. Like, this won't be long because I went home basically every weekend at university. So that wasn't something that was a bit of an issue to me. I knew I was going to see them. Obviously, it was all a new experience, but I knew I was going to see them. And then that whole first week, we basically had welcome week. So that means we went into university every day and there was various workshops and different things that we went to to like basically do team building and introduce ourselves to each other and the course and we got all our information. That was such a helpful week and I know not all universities do that. I know my friend's university, she said they just jumped in at the first lesson and they didn't really have anything like that to introduce themselves to each other but I'm really glad my university did that. Along with welcome week we had freshers week which was on the same week so we'd like go out at the night and then have to wake up in the morning to go to lessons. That was kind of grueling. I was literally on about this with my housemate earlier saying how I walked around the freshers fair and I nearly passed out because I was so hungover and tired and it was just a bit of an ordeal. But freshers fair is so, so fun. It's crazy busy. There's people handing leaflets out all over the place. You'll be putting your email down on like a million different things. You'll instantly regret that when you get back the week after and you have loads of spammy emails for no reason whatsoever. But Freshers Fair is a really nice place to find any like sports clubs or societies or anything that 
like you're into and you can get into those. I didn't and I feel like if I went back to Freshers now I probably would try and find a society or a sports club that I liked. One really good thing as well they had like poster sales so if your room's looking really blank and boring there was poster sales and I know a lot of universities do that too. So after first week I think we got our timetable on the end of that week and then we started university the next Monday and we just kind of basically jumped straight in there. I remember my first few lessons being kind of awkward like luckily I met Izzy who I'm now living with. I've known Izzy a year basically to this day and I met her on the very very first day with one of my flatmates and we walked to the welcome week together and then we figured out that me and Izzy were in the same group which was really really nice and she lived in the same accommodation as me so me and Izzy walked to the first week of lessons together. So that was a really pleasant surprise to have someone that I knew. Um, so me and Izzy sat together in all the first lessons and I, I remember after knowing them for a few weeks, like the people in my little group, they thought that me and Izzy were friends outside of uni before we actually got there. They just thought we knew each other before that, but we didn't, we just kind of hung out because we didn't have any other people. That's one thing that's really good about uni, you just find someone and you usually just kind of gravitate towards them and you probably just stay with them for a little bit and then as time goes on you kind of branch out and find more friends. So my group, there was 15 of us, there's 400 of us on our course but 15 of us in our group so it wasn't too overwhelming and within like two weeks, maybe a week and a half, we were all taking the piss out of each other, we were all giving the banter, we were just all really close friends. I think you spend that much time with each other and you're all away from home so you start relying on each other for things that you wouldn't have relied on your friends at home for. Like just silly little things that you wouldn't think of and you start becoming friends a lot faster than you would with people at home or generally anyway. I loved having such a solid group of friends. We were really really lucky that our course group were actually really good and everyone kind of cared about it and did their work and everyone got on which was amazing. This was kind of where my flat went a little bit downhill. I have very very briefly touched upon this in previous videos. One minute my foot's going numb. Ow. I actually ended up having two flats last year and probably I'd say like a month in that was when things kind of changed for me. I'm not a going out kind of person. I not really that fussed about drinking, I will occasionally, um, but I'm not that bothered. I'd rather just get an early night and sit in my pyjamas and have coffee, not coffee, I don't even like coffee, have a hot chocolate and watch a film, you know, I'm more of like a homey person. And in general, people in my flat weren't. So that was the first thing that was like majorly different. There was, a, there was a fair few incidents in freshers that I've kind of put to my, not freshers, like freshers year, that I've kind of put to the back of my head. Usually they were alcohol fueled, so I'd generally be the person still in the flat not going out. So like the other five would go out and then they come back and then that would cause them to like wake me up or it was usually alcohol fueled to be honest. Like there was like a silly argument where they brought people back and I wasn't like happy about them bringing people back because these people were in with the wrong crowd and using substances that they shouldn't have been using and you know it was just a bit dodgy so I kind of just voiced my opinion a little bit which is not something that I generally do. I'm not a very confrontational person but after being warned that that's what these people are like I just, I just like mentioned it and this caused like a huge argument between me and this other guy and it just caused a big fuss and I don't like confrontation and I ended up crying myself to sleep. Um, so that was the first big thing and it was alcohol literally, like the next morning we woke up, they apologised to me and it was fine but I was still a bit wary, like you know, I was just a bit, hmm, I feel like I was just very different. And then it was just going downhill I guess, like obviously the mess is something that's a given, I feel like basically every university house in the entire world is a mess. You'll be very lucky if you get one that's not. But ours was just extremely gross. Like we had fruit flies in our kitchen. We had four bin bags on the floor constantly and they'd get split open when people when we had like pre-drinks and all the bin juice would be on the floor and it would be gross and like you couldn't put anything on the side because there was just like spilt stuff everywhere and it was just not a very pleasant place to be in. I remember walking into the kitchen and I just instantly felt uncomfortable and I didn't want to sit in there and I don't know, it was just really weird and not kind of my area, I guess, like not my thing. 
So I did a few times like really really deep clean the kitchen. I'd spend like an hour at a time. I probably did this once a week for three weeks. I deep cleaned the kitchen and then the day after I'd go back in and it was just messy again. So I kind of gave up on that. I just started cleaning my own mess, sticking to myself and kind of just not saying anything about it. Just staying in my own little area and doing that. Then there was like an incident in October. If anyone was watching my weekly vlogs back then, you will have seen a very, very small clip of me crying my eyes out on the night of Halloween. And I was all set to be going out that weekend. I was, I'd been, got my outfit. I was staying home that weekend. That was like the first weekend that I was actually staying at uni and going out. So I was looking forward to it. But when it got to the time, I just wasn't in the mood. I just, I wasn't in that kind of crowd, I didn't, because I hadn't been going out, I didn't really know anyone and I just didn't, I'm just not kind of drinking, going out kind of person, so I didn't really want to go. So I didn't and then they all went out and it was fine and whatever, some random guy came into my bedroom because I forgot to lock my door and he was really drunk and I was just like, go away. And they were, I walked into my kitchen and there was loads of people there that I didn't know and it was just a bit awkward, I felt like out of place in my own flat. So I spent a lot, a lot of time in my own room, but it was nice, I had a little ensuite. So I only ever really went into the kitchen when I needed to cook food and then I just bring it back. But on that Halloween night, one person in particular who was a friend of the flat actually came back a little early. He was looking for my flatmate and he knocked on the door. I knew who he was like the night before this, he'd been comforting me because I was upset about whatever I was upset about, something else to do with the flat. And he was a nice guy, I let him in, but he's got a lot of alcohol and possibly other substances in his body and he like basically trashed the place. He like shoved me into my room and he was being, he was being jokingly, he wasn't violent to me at all and like he's a nice guy when he's sober but alcohol fueled, literally everything, every story is alcohol fueled. And he went into the kitchen and he trashed the kitchen and long story short, the police got called and I was up at that morning at 4am that morning giving a witness statement to the police. <laughs> this all sounds so dramatic and at the time it was obviously like really traumatic and I'm not trying to scare any of you guys, like this is a very rare thing to happen at uni. I don't know any of my other friends at uni had any kind of experience like this. I feel like I just got very unlucky with what happened and where I was at certain times, like I'm not blaming any of the people I lived with. It was just alcohol fueled and just bad situations and bad timings like literally I've got nothing against any of the people I live with but it was just really shit and it generally just was really shit so that happened that night and I went home that evening and I was just like I can't do this anymore I just couldn't be bothered with the hassle like every weekend I'd come home and be upset I'd leave on a Thursday and not come back until the Monday morning I literally spent like three nights a week at university and I was paying so much money for my rent but not actually staying there because I felt really uncomfortable. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to stick it out, it's not too bad right now. And I stuck it out and it got to Christmas and everyone was moving out and moving out for a month for Christmas obviously. I'd actually, there was always arguments about the fridge. You'll argue about stupid things at uni but we used to argue about the fridge. So there was an argument about the fridge and people always used to put drinks on top of my food and obviously because I went home every weekend it'd mean I'd get back and all my food would be ruined and I wouldn't really have a shelf left. So you know, silly little arguments. So my little bright idea was to fill like a sandwich box thing and I just put like foil in it and I put a pasta sauce jar in there and I put it in my shelf and that was just my way of kind of keeping my bit of shelf which reflecting on was kind of stupid like I didn't need that shelf but I was like out of principle and out of everything that happened and I was just like I don't owe you guys anything like I've had some really shit times I deserve this shelf in the fridge so I did that and then I was at home for probably about a week and I got a message on the group chat and they'd find found my little booby trap and that's when I instantly regretted my decision to put bloody pasta sauce in a box and they were like slyly taking the piss out of what I'd done, which fair dues, it was a stupid thing for me to do. But they were just being really, really mean. They were being mean about what I post online. They were being mean about me as a person. They were just being really mean. And at this point I was out with my family and I ended up running out of the restaurant crying. And I was just done. I was like, no, I have come to university to have a good time. I have come to university to get away from the pettiness of high school. This is not what I need. So right there and then I decided I was calling my accommodation the next day and I was moving out. And the rest is history. No, that's not the end of the video, but basically I moved out of that flat on the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas. Me and my grandma went into the flat, 
probably the week before like on the 17th or something and we packed up my room ready for when it was moving everyone was still in the flat at this point not one of them said a single word to me so this kind of proves that keyboard warriors is a thing they were very bold to say stuff online but when I was actually in the flat nothing was said and like I said before I hold nothing against them I'm not trying to create this video to cause tension I'm literally just saying what happened and my version of the event so you know sorry my memory card just got full so we'll try and hope that everything's all the same but yeah that happened and I moved out on the 23rd of December basically so I was so so happy I was like freedom finally I don't have to tiptoe around my own flat I can be in a clean surrounding I don't have to try and fit in with people I just genuinely I was just so different to them like I don't know I, if I was a really good party animal and I was I'm just not a sociable person I was just not meant for that flat and I moved out I got my own little studio flat in the same accommodation I was so so thankful for the accommodation for being so accommodating <laughs> lol and I got my own little studio flat I was still kind of nervous when I moved back in because I didn't want to bump into my old flatmates and I didn't want it to be awkward. I don't like confrontation. I come across really confident and really bold on videos but when it comes down to it I am actually quite a sensitive person and I don't like confrontation whatsoever. I'm probably getting better at that but I just didn't want any situations. I don't like any drama. I just can't be bothered, you know? I just, I just don't care enough to argue with anyone so I just wasn't all about that. But I moved out and things picked up so much better. Hopefully this is where the video turns a little better. I'm not trying to tell you that Freshers is horrible. It's not. It is great. Um, it was just that situation was horrible. But I suppose the lesson you can learn from this is that even though my situation was really shit and I didn't like it at all, I learned a lot from it. I've grown so much since that and my situation can be changed. Like I have the ability to control my own happiness and I'm not letting anyone get in the way of that so I did something about it I changed my flat you know I feel like you're in control of your own happiness so do what you need to do and just be happy I feel really philosophical right now <laughs> so I moved out and I was so happy to still have my course friends those 15 people that I met in the first week were people that got me through it they were literally if I hadn't had them I don't think I would have been staying at university or I don't think I'd have been as happy as I was so it's all swings and roundabouts rubbish flatmates great course mates can't get both can you so I was so happy with those and we all changed groups which means we still saw each other but not as much and I made more friends and I we had girls night in my flat because I had my own little flat and my own kitchen I used to invite the girls round every so often and we'd all cook dinner together and we'd have we'd do face masks and talk crap and paint our nails literally it was so so fun and we went out a few times and I even went to pre-drinks like I don't go out out as I've said but they used to have like parties at certain people's flats every week so I'd go to the parties and I'd be around for pre-drinks and I'd have a few little light drinks join in with the fun have a laugh and then when they all headed out to go out out I headed back to my flat which everyone understood no one like pressured me into drinking everyone just understood that kind of wasn't my thing I'd much rather have more of a social situation rather than a club situation and it all just kind of started fitting together which is so so nice and I'm so so grateful for all my course mates they all offered me words of encouragement and we were all like a big family and we still are literally it's been like six months we've not seen each other for six months and we're all still talking on the group chat so if any of you guys are watching this I love you all a lot first year people don't really care about first year so first like we have a we have deadlines I'd say first year you just need to kind of keep on top of your deadlines it's a lot different to school you don't have people chasing you up I managed to do the work it was fine everyone in my course managed to do the work we all passed so work wise I don't think that's what Freshers is all about I feel like Freshers is all about learning about your new life getting to know people getting to know your course the grade part of it is honestly not important whatsoever all you need to pass first year is 40% and that's it and it doesn't count towards your degree at all so no matter what grade you get as long as you get above 40% that's it you can go into second year um yeah I've kind of lost my train of thought I feel like this video has been really rambly basically the conclusion of the year was that it was amazing we had loads of girls nights we even filmed one of our films in my flat I just had my own space and it was tidy and I built my friendship up with the friends I already had so much more I could invite them round 
I had like Jade come round, Izzy came round. Izzy like honestly saved my life during that time. I used to go and escape to her flat when I was in my old one and I feel like even my friends would have seen how much happier I was and there is just light at the end of the tunnel. That is my philosophical moment. I do not regret staying in that flat for so long. I do not regret the way I dealt with situations. I do not regret moving flats. I do not regret anything about last year because it all taught me something and I feel like I'm a stronger person for it. So if you can take anything away from this very rambly video, just know that things get better. Even if your life's a bit shit, people are a bit shit, you will find better people, you will sort something out, something will just happen and you might not believe me but I promise that everything happens for a reason and if it wasn't for me knowing my flatmate I wouldn't have ever met Izzy on that first day so I wouldn't have probably lived in this house, you know, it all just works out so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now, I'm not looking forward to editing this video and I don't know whether this was helpful at all but that's kind of my first year story, it's definitely made me the person who I am and I'm so so grateful for all of my friends and for having the chance to move flats and for the experiences that I've had and now I'm super excited and kind of a little bit nervous about starting second year so hopefully you guys will enjoy coming along the journey with me. Oh I think I need a drink of water I've spoken too much. Thank you so so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it as always please give it a huge thumbs up I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys very very soon with another video. Bye! Hey guys, today's video is my 